All right, let's look at how we actually calculate the predetermined overhead rate or the POR. Now, there's two kind of equations that we're going to use. One is to calculate the POR, and then one is actually to apply the POR to the job. So the first one we have to have is what is our POR? What is our predetermined overhead rate? And the equation for that is going to be estimated total overhead costs divided by estimated total base or allocation base, however we choose to allocate it towards that job. Sometimes we're going to use direct labor hours. Sometimes we're going to use machine hours. It's just a single base that we're going to choose, hopefully that has a cause and effect relationship with the overhead itself. So the more that we actually use, the higher the, the overhead cost it will, will be. So this is the equation. So let's actually put this in practice now. Let's do an example. It says, assume a company expects to incur a total of $200,000 in manufacturing overhead and operate 100,000 machine hours for the year. This is their anticipation. This is what they think they're going to have at the beginning of the year for the rest of the year, okay? Assuming the company bases its POR on machine hours, what is the predetermined overhead rate? So here's our, here's our equation, estimated total overhead divided by estimated total base. Our estimated total overhead, it tells us they expect to incur a total of $200,000 for the entire year in manufacturing overhead. So let's put that in there, $200,000. Our estimated total allocation base, well, it tells us that we're gonna base this off of machine hours and they expect total machine hours for the year to be 100,000 machine hours. So let's put that in there. Divide that out. That's going to give us a POR or overhead allocation rate of $2 per machine hour. So for every machine hour a job uses, we're going to actually apply it $2 per machine hour. Now let's look at the application side. Applied overhead, the equation for this is the applied overhead equals the POR or predetermined overhead allocation rate times the actual allocation base. So the POR, the overhead allocation base, is based off of two uh, estimations. This time we're going to take that rate and we're going to multiply it by an actual number because we know exactly how many, uh, by the end of the job, we know exactly how many uh, hours have been used or whatever the base may be. So let's put this again into an example. Again, same thing, assuming that they expected to incur $200,000, 100,000 machine hours. Assume job A1234, or 123, took the company 15 hours to complete the job how much overhead should be applied for that job? Well, again, we know the POR. POR is going to be $2 per machine hour. We calculated that a few minutes ago. The actual allocation base for this job is going to be 15 hours. So I'm going to multiply that 2 times the 15, and that's going to give me an applied overhead of $30. So then I can take that $30, add it to my direct material and my direct labor, and figure out what the actual cost of this uh, project is or this job. And that's how you do POR.